How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and this video will be taking a look at what's on my iPhone 5. A lot of people have been asking me to do this for a while so I finally got around to doing it. I got time to do it today so uh, let's get straight into it. So uh, you guys might be disappointed, I haven't got loads of things on my iPhone 5 because I'm very specific in what I do with my phone so um, I don't download a tons of games, I don't do all that kind of stuff. I mainly use my phone for taking photos, a uh, few business stuff like emails and uh, finances and all that kind of stuff but I'll show you guys anyway so the first thing you notice is my wallpaper is Breaking Bad wallpaper uh, because I enjoy watching Breaking Bad the last episode uh, went up today I believe so um, it was really great watching that show finding out about it and stuff from my brother so if eventually I found this wallpaper through uh, Tumblr so I took it and I thought this is great on my phone uh, anyway so uh, let's look at some of the folders I've got utilities folder so that's just all my utilities and I've got Safari in there because I don't use it so I just put it in there anyway because I can't think of uh, anywhere else to put it so I've got compass in there I've got my passport voice memo all that stuff contact etc I've got them in there so settings is there because I go there a lot so I left it there so it's easy to just go there and click it and go away with it and I've left some Apple products in here that I don't use so map stocks weather newsstand I don't use those apps at all so I've just left them in Apple folder and then I've got music folder where I've got my iTunes stuff SoundCloud and I've got Spotify as well I don't know why I've got FaceTime in there I've just noticed that but um, I don't use FaceTime through there anyway, I use it just by dialing a number and then hitting uh, FaceTime, sorry, through uh, contacts. Uh, finances, I've got my banking, I've got PayPal, uh, Amazon Associates, again, some guys might know what that is for, Amazon uh, Affiliate stuff, and my Google AdSense, uh, so I can see what's coming in, what's going out and stuff. And in here, social, I've got Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vine, uh, Instagram, Foursquare, uh, just unfollow to see who's following and unfollowing. I haven't used that. I don't even know why I've got that. I've got Ustream, which I haven't used in a while. Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Cake, uh, Netbot for AppNet. Uh, you got Angwith for live stuff. A bit like Ustream, but better uh, in its own way. You got Chat on app with Samsung guys, uh, Skype, and Twitter in the corner because I don't use Twitter app. It's just there for when I want to see interactions uh, sometimes. Um, also in my photography, I've got loads because I enjoy taking photos. I've got Flickr, Snapseed, Light Leaker, which is pretty cool. You can use that to leak a bit of light on your photo. Gives it that nice effect you can see there. Uh, I've got GoPro, to com like, a, like a, a companion app for my GoPro Eero 3. Uh, I've got AHDR, one of my favorite apps uh, because I can add that extra HDR uh, sort of effect to anything really. So if I just quickly do this, you can then change that to natural, pale, you can do all sorts, saturation. Takes away you having to do the manual settings yourself, it's all there. Got a picture stitch, you guys know what that is, you can put pictures in frames. Allo clip to go with my Allo clip. Uh, some more HDR app. I've got picture frame again, which is the same as uh, picture stitch, but gives you extra functionalities like adding text and stuff. Got font, it's just add, adding text. Cycloramic, I haven't used that for a while. That's when you can get your iPhone to rotate on its own and take panoramic uh, images. You got this one, you do do, so I can write on photos. If I want to block out like a registration plan on a car, I can use it to do that. Uh, Clash Heart, that's, you can sell your photos. You take any photos you think is cool. You list it on there, some of my bid for it. I haven't used it for a while. I actually reviewed that one, that's why I've got it. Um, I've got Simply HDR, which is supposed to do the same job as AHDR, Advanced HDR, what that means by the way, uh, but, I don't use it just because I prefer the other one. KBLAM is cool for doing like a comic kind of thing, comic sketch. So if you're very creative, uh, this one's a cool app to have. I got Wood Camera. Again, this just gives you extra filter options to do with your photos and stuff. I'm not going to go into it uh, too much. Uh, you've got Insta Blend, so you can sort of blend two photos together without any issues. So you can overlay two photos at the same time. You've got characters, so you can copy uh, strange characters that you don't normally get with iPhone. That's still taking this time to load. Picture Lab HD, same thing again, allows me to add extra effects and stuff like that. So I've got loads of photography apps. Uh, productivity, I've got Dropbox, Evernote for taking notes, People Per Hour. People Per Hour is like a freelancer stuff because I'm a freelancer. I go on there a lot to advertise my services and stuff like that. So I've got MailChimp for doing newsletters, Wonderlist for keeping track of what I need to do. I use notes a lot, which syncs via iCloud as well. Got analytics, Google Analytics, so I can see what's going in, what's going in on, on my website, traffic wise, how many visits I'm getting and stuff, and zip as well. Uh, news, I'm a big fan of Zite. Zite app allows me to check uh, the latest news uh, to do with things that I've selected. For example, on my quit list, I've got entrepreneurship. 
gadgets, gaming, Apple News, social media, technology, a load of stuff. So it allows me to quickly uh, read the top news and share it as well. So for example, that news there might be interesting to me and I can share it with you guys via Twitter and stuff. Uh, podcasts, I used to listen to a lot of that, but I haven't had time lately to do anything on that. Uh, some more proper utilities for me, things that I actually use. I've got for my iPhone, British Gas My Home, so I can turn on off, turn my gas on and off when I'm at home, when I'm not at home, I can do that remotely. Got like Jawbone Hop, I got actual proper weather app that I use, uh, stuff to go with my Pebble Watch, Speed Test, Lumo Back, which is a cool app for my strap to make sure I keep my back straight and my posture. There's a video for that on my channel already. Three, because I'm on three network, that allows me to keep track of my uh, bills and stuff. Copilot HD, very cool uh, navigation app. And I got my Seagate app uh, for transferring files and streaming stuff on my wife wireless art drive. Uh, bookmarks are just like Buffer, Dropler. Uh, they're just stuff that I use to do with bookmarking. So I can keep track of the links as well. Uh, travel, again, I can't say I travel a lot, but I do travel. So I've got things like Tube Map, Insta Place, uh, Google Maps, Car to Go, so I can get cars where I'm at, when I'm about uh, in Birmingham, where I'm from. Uh, kayak, again, check quick flights and stuff like that before you book them so you can get the best deal. I've got shopping there for eBay, Amazon. Uh, Apple Store, Domino's, <laughs> I haven't used Domino's for a while, uh, Starbucks, big fan, Groupon and Hot, hot UK deals, mm -hmm. uh, cool apps there. Uh, moving along, you got Just Eat, you got QR Reader, that was a Skype uh, beta testing that I'm doing at the minute, uh, I'm not going to open that because I uh, signed some agreement for that. Uh, you got fashion stuff, I don't even know I've got that, but Jack Jones and Zara, I do check them out every now and then. Audible, fantastic app, listen to audio books while I'm driving. Uh, National Rail to keep track of train, poll runner, that's a cool one as well, I do uh, questionnaires and run polls with you guys on Twitter every now and then, which thanks thanks to you guys who do get involved. Uh, I've got uh, Instant Blur, Instant Blur is cool so you can like change focus and where you want, like that sort of stuff, so you can sort of blur out stuff and make it focus, make it focus on the actual things that you want people to see. I got my fantasy Premier League football stuff. Uh, again, that's just so I can keep track of my team, uh, which I'm doing well at the minute. You got private, private photos so, because people do go on my phone a lot, so I keep photos that are private in there. I haven't got anything there, so I haven't got anything inside of it to be honest. I haven't used it for a while. It's just there uh, from it's just there from like restoring stuff. Uh, got my books. I got Bible, iBooks, and Google Books as well. So yeah, I got Sphero app from when we did the Sphero review. I still use it. I still use them as well for playing with the Sphero really. Uh, entertainment. Finally, I have got uh, music tube for listening to music directly from YouTube, so you can keep it as a playlist. Uh, I got remote control for the Denon uh, sound system, Sky Sports, uh, movies, Netflix, tuning radio, and Shazam. So that's what I've got in my entertainment apps. And on the bottom there, you got the regular stuff. And I use Chrome a lot because it syncs with everything. I'm just used to it. There's no particular reason. There's nothing wrong with using Safari. I just, I'm just using Chrome because I do web development as well. Uh, but that's it really for everything that's on my iPhone 5. Sorry guys if I've bored you uh, with the apps I've got. I don't really download apps a lot, but I promise that I'll do this video and there you have it guys. Anyway guys, do let me know any interesting apps that you guys use. Leave it in the comment area below. And uh, if there's anything else you like, you guys want to see, do let me know. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.